Welcome back to another episode of Lulu's Perch. In this episode, we'll be addressing the fifth element, the heart and soul of humanity, the most commonly overlooked permaculture principle in the garden, and that is people care. And we're gonna be doing that while building a community hub. They say, build it and people will come. Do you remember when Captain Planet hijacked a Lulu's Perch episode, spoke about five elements in permaculture design, and briefly mentioned the fifth element, AKA people care? Well, since we've embarked on our permaculture adventure and built the Mosaic Room dorm, we've had people from all over the world coming to visit Lulu's Perch. From young families wanting to escape the cities, travelers just passing through, fellow gardeners, and other YouTubers like Click Anna, who got bitten by my goose and her hard drive destroyed by my cat. Link in the description below. It is you, the people that bring the heart and soul to Lulu's Perch. But some have said they've had bad experiences with permaculture in the past due to a lack of attention to people care. Well, while I can't protect everyone against Jimmy the Goose, let alone myself, he's coming at me, help, help, help. I sure as hell can build a community hub. Let's go consult the master plan. I want the community hub to have three unique areas. One, an exercise platform two, an education center, and three, a place to socialize. First, we've got the exercise platform. This is where the day starts, where we can take time out, relax, stretch, and meditate before the day begins. And we can put this right on the water tanks here. Next, we have the education center. I believe this has to be private, but also open to the garden for classes. The classes don't have to be exclusive to permaculture, but the space can be rented out to the community to hold seminars, yoga sessions, meetings, band practice, or even art exhibitions. So I might put it in this barn over here. At the end of a long day, we'd all like a nice, comfortable common room where we can kick off our shoes, sit on the big couches, have dinner, a fireplace for the winter, cool breeze for the summer, and even a nice view for the mountains, the sunset, and even the miniature goats. So maybe we'll put it right over here. Yeah, it's just occurred to me that these three elements of the community hub don't exactly flow together very well. The access is all over the place and feels really disconnected. So I'd have to think about creating a walkway somehow between them all. Not only is this project huge, but we're booked in to host a bunch of events in the next few weeks, which makes us really press for time. So I'm gonna start where I think people care should start, and that is on a sunny mandala yoga platform. Um... When it comes to people care, I believe first and foremost that a farm should have a consistent wake up time and a consistent place to meet before the gardening day begins. It helps create routine and prevents people from becoming confused. They end up rolling in at random times and starting to garden in random places when the group really needs a team effort in one particular direction. So I'm gonna devise a meeting time and place that suits the weather, the season, and the guests and interns. Gardening is physically demanding. We're bending down, pulling out weeds, planting vegetables and picking up tools all day long. Over time, these repetitive movements can put stress on our bodies, particularly our lower backs if we have poor tool technique. So I think it's extremely important to start the day with some long, deep stretches. It can lift someone's mood from a stiff and sore, grumpy bum to a limber and light gardening guru. Yeah, okay, maybe, <laughs> maybe that's a little bit of a stretch but it certainly starts the day on the right foot and can avoid injuries and the occasional hernia.
And finally, the exercise platform doubles as a talking circle. This is where people can identify potential jobs that need doing, what tasks people want to take on that day, and generally expressing how people are feeling. I mean, sometimes people wake up not knowing what to do or where to go or have their own agenda that completely conflicts with the tasks at hand. A group meeting puts everyone on the same page so the morning flows smoothly. And voila! We have a mandala platform where we can all meet in the morning, stretch our weary gardener bodies and chat about life, the universe and everything. <laughs> Remember that episode? Anyway, it's time for phase two. So try get outside, build a community hub on your farm today and I'll see you in the next chapter. Catch ya.